Electric Cooperative is changing its practices about take-home equipment after a customer says he watched an employee use company property to fix his septic system. Tipmont REMC says its new policy better reflects how times have changed, but the customer who made the complaint is frustrated his money may have funded personal projects. It just got to the point where enough's enough. You know, when I when I saw that, that was that was over the top. And that was this photo Bill Campbell took last month of a Titmont REMC employee using a Titmont mini excavator to dig up his backyard. When I saw him using heavy equipment for their personal use, then you know that opens up all sorts of things, liability-wise. Who who pays for that? In the end, the ratepayers pay for it. And we decided this was not in the best interest of Titmont and of all of Titmont members and we ended the practice. Titmont officials say a new policy is in place which does not allow machinery to be used for personal use. It does allow on-call crews to take home a vehicle after hours. One crew in the northern service area, one in the south, plus one on-call supervisor. Communication Director Rob Ford says the practice of personal use had been allowed under certain conditions, including the employee getting supervisor approval, being held completely liable for any damages, and paying for any costs like fuel. But for liability reasons, it could not continue. We were very grateful to have the opportunity to work with this member and to make a positive change for the betterment of all our Titmont members. Ford says personal machinery use was rare but did not have records for exactly how much it was used. Campbell doesn't believe that employees actually reimburse Titmont for gas or other expenses. Even with the new policy in place, he still has his doubts. I'll believe it when I see it. I mean, lip service is one thing, and I'll believe it when I see it. Rob Ford says some employees had taken home machinery for volunteer community service projects, like hanging Christmas decorations or changing light bulbs at a ball field. Ford says any similar projects will now happen during the regular workday.